Hello Minecraft fans, so if you um, are following the new 1.18 update, you might know that Mojang released an experimental snapshot which introduced a whole bunch of new stuff. I'm not going to cover all of it because um, I don't really know what I'm talking about. The one thing I do know, however, is that they introduced a new biome called the Meadow. Now the Meadow is just kind of this hilly terrain, there's no trees, just flowers, and the only mobs that can spawn there are donkeys and rabbits. So, I decided to survive 50 days there. Here's what happened. Day one, I loaded into the world, which was mostly necessary. Um, I got in, yeah, it was exactly how I expected it to look. Lots of donkeys, uh, lots of fields, yeah whole shebang. I kind of just walked around for a lot of day one, um, kind of figured out what I was up against. I grabbed some dandelions and uh, pushed some rabbits in a hole, and then who knew rabbits were so easy to kill and then eat, you know? Uh, normally these guys are so hard to kill. But even I get bored of killing rabbits in holes pretty quickly, so I decided to dig down so that I would hopefully find the mine shaft because that was the only way I would be able to get wood in this challenge. Have you ever dug down to negative 64 with just your bare hands? It's pretty fun! Anyway, so after mining for until day 2 pretty much, I uh, I finally found the mine shaft, and I definitely didn't try this on multiple seeds until I got a mine shaft because yeah, the, yeah. Um, I used the wood to make a crafting table, then crafted a sword so that I could get some, uh, some of that string from the cobwebs. I had a close call with the cave spider here, but I kept my cool and ended up living, which was pretty nice. I used the string to make some wool, which then I made a bed, and now it's day three. Day three, I kind of mined wood some more. I mean, this is kind of the boring part. The first part was kind of slow, you know, because I had to do a whole bunch of stuff to get wood. I ended up finally being able to make a pickaxe. And then I could get stone and, you know. So I ended up making an axe and some tools to help me harvest wood a little bit faster. Even with all this wood, I was going to have to be conservative throughout this challenge because I didn't want to run out of wood. So anyway, I started mining back up to the surface because I got bored of being down there and I think I had enough wood. But I ended up hitting a cave where I ate some more cave spiders to regen like I had been doing down there. Found some iron, which was pretty nice. Uh, and yeah, dug to the surface. Once on the surface, I slept, and now it's day four. For now, I decided to gather some sand to make a house out of some sandstone, because I figured some stairs would look pretty nice in a house design. I made a garden with some seeds, and I crafted a hoe, obviously, to make the garden, because uh, getting rabbits wasn't really a reliable source of food. So yeah, but... The wheat, however, wasn't growing at the rate that I needed it to be, because I was on three hunger and I was going to die. So instead, I started myself a little rabbit farm with two rabbits, and then bred them. Day four, I grabbed some dandelions, murdered some donkeys, and went out to find some wild rabbits to eat, which I found none of. I also turned my sounds on this day, so you guys could actually hear what I was hearing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I came home, went to bed, and... Now it's day five, where I murdered some rabbits and donkeys. Day six, I found coal. Day seven, I explored these underwater ravine things. They're not that cool unless they connect to a giant cave system underneath, which none of them really did, so they're not that cool. Day eight, I crafted a furnace and smelted some iron. I also used some of my leather from the donkeys to make leather boots, and uh, at least I have some armor now. Day 9, I found some magma towards the end of the day. I don't know, I took it. it. seemed like it was pretty cool. Day 10, I found some armor. Got this suit up advancement. It was pretty cool. Day 10, I bred the rabbits. Just general advancement stuff. Day 11, I began work on the house, and I was finished by day 12. It may seem like a long time, but hey, I was working with the stone pickaxe here. For the floor, I went with andestite slabs, I don't know, something that I had a lot of that didn't look too horrible. Day 12, I made my best attempt at making some adjustments to the house, I don't know, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, 
So I just kind of put up some torches on the inside and called it a day. Then I moved my stuff inside, like my furnace and my crafting table and my bed. Um, I crafted a cap on day 13. Um, I dyed it these colors. I have absolutely no idea why. I just thought it looked nice. And it did. Day 13 also, I mined myself a mine in my house. I kept mining till day 14 when I hit a cave. And, um, yeah, I decided to explore. But iron was the only thing down there. There was really nothing else of interest down there. So, on day 15, I left the mine and came out and bred the rabbits. Because they needed to be bred again. Day 15 as well, I smelted my iron, made some shears. And that way I could go back into the mine grab some glow lichen, and put it up. I don't know, it looks kind of nice. Day 15, I made an iron pickaxe, and then I mined some gold with my iron pickaxe, grabbed some glow lichen for absolutely no reason again, mined some redstone, and then I came out of the cave on day 17 to smelt some sand into glass, um, which I then used to redecorate my house, which I had already been redecorating a little bit. So then I used the glass to make little windows. Then I decided to dig out another section of my house, make it a little bigger. Then I crafted a bucket on day 18. Day 18, I set up another random chest to put all my crap in. Uh, I also put up those things, which look pretty nice. Day 19, I just did random chores. Day 20, I finally found a lava pool and went into the nether, baby. My nether spawn was honestly pretty awful. I spawned in the soul sand valley, but there were these bone blocks, which were actually more helpful than I thought they were going to be, because I could craft them into bone meal. And start getting the bread, which was so nice. Um, I also bred the rabbits for no reason. But day 22, it was all worth it, because I found diamonds. Then on day 22, I also crafted them into a diamond pick. So I headed to the nether, but I needed to get low, which was difficult, so it took me until day 23 to get low enough to the point where I could get underground and start mining, and I mined for a very, very, very long time. I mined until I found ancient debris. Now it took me two veins of two, which wasn't that bad, but eventually I did get the netherite that I smelted and then put it in the crafting table, yeah. I made a lodestone, and then I crafted the compass and then placed my lodestone, and then right-clicked. Day 26, I mined the nether portal to move it. It was kind of out of the way and inaccessible, and I figured it would just be better if I moved it up, and I had the diamond pickaxe, so why not? I dug out this cool little diagonal hallway for it, and then, yeah, I placed it, and then I thought it was going to connect up to my other portal. Weirdly enough, it did not. However, this gave me a much better nether spawn, so I decided to do some exploring. Day 27 was mostly spent walking, exploring the nether. I just couldn't get out of the soul sand valley. But anyway, late on day 27, I found a bastion, uh, which I got by by just only looting a few chests and avoiding a lot of the pigs. I found a crossbow, which would be helpful, I guess, uh, for fighting the dragon if I wanted to. Also on day 27, I found this warped forest. Day 28, I realized my warped forest was connected to my nether fortress, so I made a shield with some iron nuggets, and got the mandatory blaze rods I would need to speedrun, well not speedrun, but beat the game. Day 29, I burned some pigs for food, because it's the only food in the nether, mined some gold, and traded it with the piggies, and luckily for me, I got some pearls. So, I went home, because I had the cords of the nether portal written down. So, first thing I did was swap out the magma thingies for chains. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I made them look like they were floating or something. Then I put all my crap away and immediately went right back into the nether. Because I had forgotten something that I thought was pretty important in the fortress. And I found it. It was a saddle. I even found another one in another chest. I mined some more gold because I needed a little bit more pearls. Traded it up and I got some pearls. 14. As soon as I got home, I put all my stuff away in the chest, and then I went out to tame a donkey. Donkeys are difficult to tame. Not as difficult as mules, I think, but they're still difficult to tame. But I did it, um, and so then I put the saddle on, and now that I had my donkey, uh, I figured I wanted to go exploring, because I have a lodestone, I have a donkey, why not go explore the world? 
So, I figured maybe I'll find a village, maybe I'll find some caves, you know. So day 35 I found nothing. Day 36 I also found nothing, but day 37 I also found nothing. So, I decided to turn around. It was the night of day 38 when I got home. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I did it. There was nothing there. There was really nothing in this whole room. So I slept on the floor like I do in my hardcore series, which you should watch. Day 39, I crafted myself a stone cutter, then used some of my cobblestone to make some cobblestone walls. Since wood was too rare, I didn't really want to make fences, so I decided to make these walls for my donkey. And, um, yeah, I... It was a bit difficult to get him to jump over, but I got him in, and I think he liked it. So I also started farming up food, because if we were going to go to the end, we were going to need a lot of bread. So, I was able to make seven pieces. I also made a new chest on day 40, because I was running out of storage space. I also crafted a bed, and then I threw my first eye. I got my donkey, which, who couldn't jump over and uh, started walking towards the stronghold. Day 41 was mostly walking, however, I did find a ruined portal that I decided to mine for obsidian. I don't know, I thought it might be a little useful because dragon can't break it, you know? Finally, on day 42, I threw the ender eye and it went down, so I'd finally found the stronghold. Now, I had to say goodbye to my donkey since I would come out of the end portal at my respawn point, not at the stronghold, so I'd probably, unless I tracked in the stronghold again, never see Donkey. So, I said goodbye to him, took his saddle, and started digging down. Eventually, I did find the end uh, stronghold, which was good. I got really lucky with some iron swords, because I forgot to bring a weapon other than my crossbow. And I used these swords to gather some string in the library room, which I then crafted into wool, which would be helpful for beds. Eventually, though, it was day 43 before I found the room. I had a little bit of trouble with silverfish, but nothing I couldn't handle. I made the bed, I farmed some wheat, and I didn't want to go in on day 43. I wanted to wait until day 44, so I waited just a little bit longer, just so that I would know exactly how many days I would spend in the end. And on day 44, I jumped in. Now, at first, the end seemed like normal, until I got to the middle. I kept my head down, so I didn't notice at first, but once I got to the middle, I noticed there was no end pillars. Turns out this is a pretty common glitch in the 1.18 snapshot because the terrain generation was uh, mirrored in the end in the nether as it was in the overworld, but uh, yeah, I didn't know this was going to happen, but no, uh, it did. He perched a lot, this man, so I used my iron sword. I think I could have killed him way easier if I had actually had a decent weapon, but all I really had was the iron sword. I mean, that MLG right there. But yeah, eventually I got him pretty low, and then I shot him for the first time, because I mostly killed him with the perching, because I wasn't a great shot, but then I did end up shooting him, and he didn't stop dead right away. That might just be a 1.18 thing. But, yeah, I had finally killed the dragon. As you can tell, I'm very excited here. And so, I gathered my XP, got the dragon egg, and went for a remote getaway in the Outer End Island. Now, I think, of all this, I was probably least lucky with the end of this entire playthrough, because it took me so long to find an end city. It took me till day 46, which is two days, late day 46 at that, which was basically two entire days of travel, just to find one. It did have a ship, though. But these Shulker guys, it, it took me so long to raid, too, because these Shulker guys were, uh, they were just attacking me constantly. So, it was day 47 by the time I got to the top of the ship, but that wasn't that long. These guys were just, I just could not get the loot. However, I knew there was going to be OP loot in the chest, because there usually is in that city, and I was right, there was diamond armor. Um, yeah, I, I, this is the first time I had gotten diamond armor this whole playthrough. I just, the only thing I couldn't use was anything with Curse of Binding, because it's hardcore, so there's no way to get that off. Um, but yeah, these, these guys are just being so annoying. 
So I finished up looting that whole end city area, except for the ship, and by that time it was day 48, so I got to the end ship, I bridged over there, but then a shoulder hit me, and then, yeah. So, I got over there, and actually, I should have gotten the Ender Dragon Head, I didn't, but I ended up getting the Elytra. Days 49 and early 50 were spent looking for an end gateway so I could get back home in the end, and then I found it, so then I went back, and I read the end poem, which is one of my favorite parts of Minecraft. Um, I went home, I tamed a new donkey, set everything up, and looked back. Ladies and gentlemen, that was 50 days in hardcore, meadow-only world. Thank you so much for watching. This was a, a massive project, so please subscribe, it would, it would mean a lot.